I have an iPhone 6s plus here with uh, no touch after a screen repair so I just opened it up and uh, I'm gonna inspect it now and I, what I suspect is that one of these components is probably um, pried off but we will see so I just put a little IPA on the end of a q-tip and just kind of uh, soak this foam for a little bit and that is it alright well I don't see a component I haven't even turned it on, tested it yet, but uh, let, me, let me do this before I, since I don't see any components, let me try a known good screen first. And uh, actually, what am I talking about? There is a missing component right there. So let's find out what line it is, and then we'll go from there. All right, so let's start counting. Um. This is right in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to use this as reference right here. So basically, the second one after this big knuckle thing right here. Uh, so let's zoom in. So it's probably going to probably going to be. Let's see. Hold on a second. Okay, so this is the third one. Third one, one, two. So it's probably this one. Okay, so let's click on this. This is SPI AP to touch Mosey connection. Uh, that would make sense, right? So. Let me just double check first. Okay, so that one goes to there, that one, yep. So this is a filter, which would also make sense. Alright, so now let's go to the schematics, alright, and we'll uh, examine what causes the loss of touch on a 6S+. Plus. So, let's see, uh, display and touch, okay, perfect. Display is it's probably gonna be under one of these. Display control signals touch interface prox touch AP touch. I think this is it right here. AP touch. Okay. So the one that we found was labeled SPI AP to touch SPI AP to touch Mosey connection. So let's see if it falls under this or not. A S P A P to touch Mosey connection. Okay, perfect. So if you look at the schematics, all right, on page 32 out of 62, you will see this right here. Uh, a P to touch interface, and these are basically all the lines that handle touch right here. So you, you're going to need every single one of these lines, and um, in order to test it, what you do is to pump your uh, multimeter in diode mode and just kind of trace all the lines. And just make sure you're not getting an OL on any of the lines. So uh, I already know that this filter is missing. So I know that touch is not going to work. But what we can do is put it in diode mode anyways. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13. Nope. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, so we'll get eleven. All right, and I mean I know that this is gonna say O L, but uh, we'll just do it anyways. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. All right, O L. All right, so we replace this filter, and touch shall be restored. Echo. Trigger soldering on. Yes, um, I do have my soldering equipment hooked up to my Echo, my Amazon uh, Echo Dot, and I've got a bunch of uh, iHome adapters here. I got like, let's see, I got three of them, I think, hooked up right now. Yeah, it's probably a fire hazard in, down there, but <laughs> it allows me to remain hands free. Alright, so. If you're ever having a touch problem on a 6S or 6 uh, 6 or 6S, just just look at those five lines in the schematics or whatever it was, six lines, and just check diode mode in them. Let's see, two, four, six. There's other lines as well, but check these six lines in diode mode. Make sure you're not getting OL, 
and then uh, these may these may do it as well. I'm not positive though. Probably they probably do. Anything that says touch basically. And then you also have display control signals, so you can you know if you have no display, then you can go go over here and check those. Like I know this is this deals with touch right here, so PP1V8 touch Mason. Anything that says Mason or Sage. Okay. So that's that, and uh, we will put this filter back. I think it's 122.10.01.005. Okay, let me let me look for it real quick first. 122.10.01.005. Okay. Alright. So I'm getting my filter out here. That's pretty good joint right there. That's pretty solid. Let's get some IPA, clean it up a little bit. And if you really want, you can check it in diode mode make sure you're getting something and what did I say it was like uh, 11 or something 2 4 6 8 10 11 now I'm getting point four seven four. okay so that's good to go Let's zoom in so you guys can get a better look at it and I will poke it just to so it's this one pretty solid so I just use my micro pencil you know and uh, nano pencil and you're not you're 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 gonna have a hard time doing it if you don't have one of these uh these uh these uh, soldering pencils and uh you know I've tried I've tried the Hako FM uh, two zero three two I think the soldering pencil and it it is not good so even with that I don't know if you're gonna be able to solder this on I have the JBC NASE dash one B and uh. The one, the tip that I'm using now is a is a bent uh, 0.3 millimeter tip, and I love this thing actually. And I use this more than I use anything. Um, but there's also a 0.1 millimeter tip that makes it just a little bit uh, better. Um, you know, it's weird, but my oh no, stop recording, dagger. <laughs>